So just wanted to give you some thoughts and a bit of a review on the tires that I've been running for the past year, which are the Dunlop Sportsmart Mark 3s. Now I've put about three and a half thousand miles on these tires over the last year um, and about 300 miles of track riding. We did two track days last year. Um, I've ridden them in the hot, I've ridden them in the dry, I've ridden them in the cold, the wet, and I've even taken them through a bit of snow as well. So um, quite a, a lot of different climates and riding situations that these tires have been through with me on it. Um, I've also tested um, quite a lot of the different direct competitors to this tire because they're fitted on uh, some of the different bikes that we test as well so hopefully I've got a little bit of a balanced opinion as well. Now I also know there's a huge amount of technology, chemistry and R&D involved in making a set of tires like this um, but rather than sort of bamboozle you with all of the technical details on that uh, this review is going to be a little bit more based on rider experience because ultimately that's what we do. We put them on our bikes and we ride and we say whether they're good or bad. So when I bought my GSX-R it came with Bridgestone BT-016s and while they were just about okay uh, in the hot and when they started to heat up in the dry, in the cold and wet, I mean they're just not a good tire in my experience and I'd constantly be sliding the rear out. I even had some tires where I was slipping with two wheels and they just weren't very confidence inspiring basically. Well, coming on to fit these Sportsmark Mark 3s, they've just been a revelation to be honest. The ceiling of the level of grip on the road has been significantly higher than I've been able to ride on the road absolutely fantastic in the dry absolutely no issues and then when it comes onto the wet and cold as long as you're riding like somebody normally would in the wet and cold and just a little bit smoother a little bit uh, more ginger with the controls you are absolutely not going to have any issues with the grip on these of course you can spin it up if you really want to and get into the higher rpms and giving it a right handful um, but the cold and wet grip of the Sportsmark Mark 3s have been really, really excellent. The other thing that I noticed straight away from coming off the BTO 16s is, is the speed to which these turn into a corner. Um, the, the front has got a much sportier front profile and that just enables you to just tip into corners so much uh, faster and um, more sporty than the previous tyres that I was on and that has been um, a really really nice experience as well. So the tyres have also been a really great platform for me to get into track riding as well and I can't but stress how different a road application is to track. Um, you know the speeds are so much higher and the stresses that you put for your motorcycle are so much higher than you would ever do on a road. You know, your braking is much harder, your lean angles are much stronger and your acceleration on the most part is much, much stronger as well. And what can feel like a really good road setup can quickly turn to mush on the track actually. So it's been really uh, interesting to see how the tires have gone from a really good road tire into actually what I think is a really good track tire as well. So on the track they heat up really quickly and the traction on track has been pretty much flawless to be honest. And as you can see from the images they bobbled up really well and after every session that we come back from like the tyres were super hot and super super grippy as well and they've given me great confidence to get into track riding. So it kind of goes without saying that these tyres aren't racing slicks and nor are they racing wets. They're a road-based tyre and you definitely won't see them on a race bike, whether that's an amateur racer or a professional racer, you're not going to see them on that. But in the UK, we've got massively unpredictable weather and, you know, it can be really nice one day and then raining all day the next. And I have to say, it's fantastic to be able to go to a track day and not have to worry about track uh, weather on the day you know if it's dry and it's sunny fantastic we're gonna have a cracking day and if it's raining well you know what i'll make that work as well with this tire and it's been really fantastic in between the sessions as well to spend the 40 minutes like laughing and joking about how good a time we're having at the track day rather than worrying about have i got the right tires on do i need to change my wheels and all that kind of stuff 
Now I've been really, really amazed when I went to my first track day to see so many riders in uh, novice groups and intermediates, particularly with tire warmers and proper, proper race rubber on their motorcycles. I mean, this is the same sort of race rubber that BSB riders are using. And I've been amazed to see riders in novice and intermediate groups on these type of uh, tires. But what was even more amazing was when it clouded over and starts spitting. It's like that Peter K scene and it's like, it's spitting, it's spitting. And um, everybody panics to go and either change their wheels or pack up and go home. There's a lot of riders, particularly on the first day, our first, um, uh, track day, I think it was in June or something. Um, in the morning it was sunny, then it got rained out in the afternoon and then it came out nice again. And there were so many riders in our group that either packed up or just sat the sessions out. Meanwhile, we're having a right laugh out there, just enjoying it. So it's been fantastic not to have that stress and pressure. The other really important note is by not having a racing slick that like professional racers use, Obviously it's got a lower ceiling of grip and what that enables me to do as someone is very much learning the track game is have a lower ceiling of grip and be able to sort of like figure out where the limitations are. See if my limitations right up here and I'm sort of operating around here, I never actually figure out where the limits are. Whereas actually if I bring the limit of grip down here and I'm operating here, I can sort of bump up against that limitation and start to learn the skills that go alongside with figuring out where the limits are. And that for me is uh, another really, really important point about using or not just straight jumping in to a full on racing slick. And that's not even to say that the Sportsmark Mark III are the best road legal track day tire. Even in Dunlop's range, actually the Sportsmark TT would be more suitable for out and out track riding. But with that comes uh, a few comp compromises, namely in the wet and in the cold as well, whereas these would outperform the TT in those conditions. And I'm not categorically saying that the Sportsmark Mark III are the absolute best hypersport tire available today. I mean, even in the last year, I've tested a load of tires, uh, Pirelli Rosso 3s, uh, Bridgestone S22s, S21s, Michelin Road 5s, Michelin Power Cup 2s. You know, they're all actually really good. Um, I would say the Road 5s are a bit more plush and maybe a little bit more uh, softer and maybe a little bit more orientated towards wet weather. And on the other side of the spectrum, the Power Cup 2s may have a slightly more pure warm weather um, and dry grip than these, but um, I also rode them in the wet as well and aquaplaned a few times. So they're definitely not as good as these in the wet either. I would say that the Sportsmark Mark 3s are equally good as all of those tires, if not better in some areas. So as you can tell, I'm really impressed with these tires and I've absolutely no qualms recommending them to anybody who wants a really super sticky and sporty tire for their sports bike or naked bike that, uh, to use in all conditions on the road and to do some track days as well. It's a really, really fantastic solution. So please like, please subscribe, please check out the Knox collection and we'll see you next time.